Hey everyone, it's the Pyro again, and welcome to a new episode of Murder Sold Suspect. In the last episode, we, uh, what did we do? Oh yeah, we got not Clementine, uh, from the, her holding cell. And in this episode, we gotta find her, because she decided to run off after we got her what she needed. Being very rude in the process, of course. I'm finding collectibles, though, for some reason. I don't need to, though. It's not necessary. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Cutscenes, you can stop doing that every time. Alright, now where'd you go? And not Clementine. can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Yeah, that's right. Um, let's see here. Why would the powerful scream help me? The witness's destination. Killer's identity. Uh, witness's mother missing. Runaway witness. Oh, here we go. No! Uh... This one? Damn it! Damn it! Okay. The thing she has, we're gonna... Yeah, whatever. That makes no now, sense. I might look at the station and don't look back. Mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not gonna say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and you need a detective. The last case. Ashlyn Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. Why? Okay. I don't know. I guess, I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the Bell Killer. Cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashlyn Hills. <laughs> we? Oh, come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. For now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. <laughs> Seriously? And Ronan is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? Well, yeah. So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet you uh, there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. It was meant to be. I'll see you there. If not, I won't... No, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living There's person There's that I fucking left. girl again. God, I hate her so much. She is such a little shit, and she is ugly. So yeah, now we're partners. Why is this place on fire? Doesn't seem too grand. It's ghost fire. Anything deadly? Nope. Hello, children. You're all dead. Huh, something. Alright. Interesting. Just so you guys know, I'm not a very fast reader. It's just I don't feel like reading all of them, because we would get nowhere otherwise. Apparently, the frame rate won't either. Here we go. Alley oop. In we go with the fucking cutscenes but messing up. I don't know why they do that. It's it's weird. It, like, I can understand my free running I and everything might do that. Julia's final resting place. But not the cutscenes. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of 
of us. Just a place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Better not be enjoying trying to scare the shit out of us. He knows the camera is following him. Oh, it's that fucking girl. Wait, so what happens when it turns to day? Oh, son of a bitch, who are you? Who? Little grudge ass bitch. Great. Another freaky ghost chick is shadowing me. Alright, let's go. I guess. Sorry it's been so long, Julia. Wait, so why was she following us? I don't understand. Oh boy. Oh, I think. Okay. There's another thing over there. I must get it. Alright, look, I'm not a vampire. I can cross moving water. I'm like 90% sure about that. Whatever. I don't feel like talking to these people. Oh, hey, it's Joy. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you, and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. I don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. <laughs> the book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I going to do? Hmm. Maybe it was that little girl that was uh, peeping about. Me. Who is that? Need to determine if there's a link to the Bell Killer mur murders here. Well, that girl seems like she was murdered recently. Let's talk to her. Yo. Excuse me, but uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. Thanks. Lots of help there. Jerk. Alright. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's really fucking dry. No, it's tattered, deceased, and washed up. Just like my comedy. Okay, well, that was a weird ass glitch, alright. Squawk! Oh, here we go. This guy was in the flashback. The who washed up here. This thing floated down the river by her body. Think it ended up in the bushes over there. Oh, thank you. You were actually helpful. Or at least trying to be helpful, I suppose. Why are you locked at 30 frames? Thank you. Over here, maybe? Nope, too far. In the bushes. Which bushes? This one? Oh, yeah. Hard to see. 
I'll say. <sighs> it's too dark in these bushes. Get Joy. She has a flashlight. I uh, didn't really... Why is this here? Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. Thank you, small child. Hurry up. Don't get bit. Oh, it's a rope. I don't know if it's important, but this is all I can find. Interesting. Seems familiar. There's something familiar about this. Oh yeah, it was in the murder notes. Yeah, this right here. The ropes must have come off while she was drowning or dead. Get up river, find out how she died. Better tell Joy. I would not leave her alone. I mean, I'm a ghost and I can't do anything, but I mean. Her body washed up on shore, so she was murdered up river. But where? Miles of banks both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. <laughs> oh, genius. would be a needle stack. Crawling with ghosts. Wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. Hello. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with. Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, she, did she do her little scream again? Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Oh, shit. Wait, so what happens to her? I mean, uh, because, all right, need to find her. Yeah, I'm curious though. Like, I mean, what happens since she can see the demons? Shit. Okay then. I don't know his moving patterns yet, so I kind of want to look, pay attention to him. He turns back around at some point, so that's all I need to know. So now I just have to wait for him. Did he turn around? There it goes. All right, bitch, come at me, you little shit. Yeah, eat it. All right, there's that one. Just have to be all sneaky like. There we go. All right. May not want to be that close to him when he comes over. Just a hunch. Wonder if they could maybe give me a ghost shovel. That might help a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Eat it. And you're dead. Alright, he's behind that tree. Shit. Yeah. I got you, son. You're dead. You're motherfucking dead, son. Alright. Graveyard. Is there a difference between graveyards and uh, cemeteries? I don't really understand the difference. If there is one. Uh, nothing else? Alright. Keep going through the cemetery, I guess. Graveyard. Whatever. This is a fake wall. Why is this wall here? 
Oh, there's a thing. Reckless Ronin. That's pretty catchy. Reckless Ronin. Alliteration is always a good thing, children. It sounds catchy. Come on, man. You can't be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. What are you okay. doing, you losers? I know it's steel or iron or something, but it's just like a fence. It's right? not even a fucking I mean, fence, how much dude. Can it weigh? Mm, should have brought a crowbar. Yeah, we always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking. Sup, ghosties? Sup? Oh. Hey, dead girl. No, wait. Don't leave. Grudge girl, I need to speak with you. Oh, this can be entered. Oh. Alright. Okay. That was unhelpful. Sup, guys? What's going on? Oh, well, lady. Anything over here? Nothing? Cool. Why are people just hanging out in a graveyard? I mean, it's Salem, Massachusetts, but come here on, we guys. Are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1600s. Oh, okay, it's a tour. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before or after. What is this? An heirloom, all right? Before. So this graveyard is all right. Yeah. Anything? All right, cool. Always want to check for demons. Don't need them to suck you off. You know? Dr. Trotter's findings. Okay. Going up, up, up. All right, listen, girl. Look, just I'm chill. On your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Oh God, she's gonna be evil. Oh. No. God. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. Yeah, you really are, Ronan. Oh, well. Daisy enough, apparently. Just gotta throw some text on the screen and you'll be okay. Alright then. What was it? Oh, okay. Alright, anyways. Well, we just learned how to teleport, so that's pretty awesome. And I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, so. We're chasing down this girl so she can we can ask her some questions, but apparently she can't speak because she drowned when she died. So yeah, sucks to be that girl. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably catch up to her. Maybe she'll miraculously learn to speak or talk to us or something. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.